At the turn of the 19th century, America experienced a frenzy of innovation and economic development in a period known as the Market Revolution. Among the developments of the Market Revolution were multiple inventions that aided in communication and transportation. Month-long journeys were reduced to mere days, with inventions such as the canal and the steamboat, and communication achieved near instantaneous speeds through the telegraph. Among these various notable inventions was the railroad, a system that would aid in the settlement of the Wild West and provide trade opportunities between resource-abundant lands and the industrial northeast. Like many other inventions of the century, the railroad industry expanded at a rapid rate, reaching nearly 30,000 miles of tracks by 1828, which was more than the total mileage of the railroads in the rest of the world. By 1870, the U.S. had constructed a total of 53,000 miles of railroads, and that statistic tripled between 1860 and 1880. Among other things, the environment was greatly affected by this innovation of massive proportions. One of the major reasons that railroads impacted the environment to such a great extent was its dependency on various natural resources. One such natural resource was wood. In order to procure the enormous amount of wood necessary to construct tens of thousands of miles of tracks, the railroad companies were authorized to take as much wood as they wished from trees near the existing tracks. This essentially meant that where tracks existed, trees did not. Another natural resource consumed by the railroad industry was coal. The mining, refinement, and consumption of coal was one of the largest contributors to environmental pollution. Equally detrimental to the ecosystem, although commonly overlooked, was noise pollution. Due to prolonged exposure to loud noise, local wildlife, especially animals, was plagued with hearing loss. Two major effects of hearing loss were the increased difficulty for prey to escape from their predators and predators to track down their prey. Furthermore, migration patterns were often obstructed by railroad networks. Lastly, augmented by the ease of transportation, the trade of goods such as animal hides drove American buffaloes nearly to the point of extinction. Along with the environmental impact, there were numerous and equally significant economic and social consequences. Resources in the West were linked to factories in the North, and new industries were opened up, such as coal and iron. After the Civil War, railroads greatly aided in the reconstruction and urbanization of the crippled nation, especially the South. While there were many changes that benefited the nation, there were also some notorious effects, including the massive amount of paper money that was printed to finance railroads, leading to the Panic of 1837 and the escalation of slavery due to the intense labor requirements of laying down tracks and mining iron and coal. All things considered, despite its often significant ramifications, there is no doubt that the invention of the railroad would prove to have a net benefit on our developing nation, as it would open the door to future inventions, such as cars and monorails, while remaining a valued asset to the industrial world today.